Welcome to Cuber Video Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will explain how to access defaults and single transition settings and how to configure 3D and 2D transitions. How to access defaults and single transition settings. By setting transition properties, you're defining how it will change from one slide to another look. Transition configuration options are grouped as 1. Transition defaults default values for transition settings. 2. Single transition, specific transition settings. To access default transition settings, click on Transitions button in Settings menu. Transition defaults configures common properties for all transitions. To access particular transition settings, click on Timeline and then click on Desired Transition Thumbnail or click on See Manager Stage and choose Desired Transition Thumbnail from Timeline. We have now opened Second Transition Properties panel. You can define your transition defaults and then override them with custom settings for each transition. By having transition default settings, you don't need to define each property over and over again. This way you can just change properties that need to be different for each transition in specific single transition settings. 3D and 2D Transition Settings Transition Properties panel is same for single and default transition settings. In Transition Property panel, you can choose 3D or 2D transition type. Available settings for 3D type include Flip Angle, which define type of 3D rotation. Values for Flip Angle are 90 or 180 degrees. 90 degrees is used for effect that next or previous slide is on side next to the cube face. Let's see the preview. Let's try out 180 degrees flip. Use 180 flip type to achieve the effect that next preview slide is on opposite slide to cube face. Next property is Flip Depth, which sets Z offset value during slice flipping. Let's see how transition will look with bigger flip depth. Next property is Flip Box Depth. Flip Box Depth defines thickness of the sliced cube. Notice the increase in cube thickness on stage. For 2D transition, you can choose Fade or Slide Guide transition type. Fade is used for transition effect when one slide fades to another. With Slide Guide, one slide moves out and the next takes its place by moving in. Let's set 2D Fade type for transition number 2 and Slide Guide for transition number 3. Let's see the preview now. Transition number 1 type is 3D with 180 degrees flip. Second transition is 2D with fade effect. And the third transition type is also 2D but with slide glide effect. Now we'll return to transition defaults property bar. Grid is a place where you define image slices through rows and calls. Define number of horizontal slice divisions by setting row value. For number of vertical slice divisions, use column property. Order defines slices animation order by setting corresponding angle of animation flow. Direction defines slice rotation direction. We'll decrease flip depth to see order and direction changes more clearly. We'll also decrease cube thickness for the same reason. Let's see the preview. Transition is starting in bottom left corner and following order direction. Slices rotate from left to right as set using direction. Let's try out different settings for grid, order, and direction.
Let's see how transition will look with new settings. Cube is now sliced in nine divisions, three rows and three columns. Animation starts from right and slice rotation direction is up. You can also set color for other cube sides that show during transition. Notice the color change on stage and later in preview. Last group of settings is animation. Duration per slice defines time needed for each slice cube to finish its animation. Delay per slice is time each slice cube will wait before starting its animation. Delay randomness sets randomization value for slice delay. Ease function is used for animation curve calculation. Choose different ease functions to set different types of animation. Let's try out different combinations of animation properties. Let's see the preview. Transition starts faster and its duration is shorter. We will try out other set of values. Let's see how transitions will animate now. Transitions 2 and 3 are 2D because custom settings for those transactions overrode transition defaults. Notice the bounce, ease, in, out, and delay randomness effects. Thank you for watching Cuber Video Tutorials.